Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with the review of Anchor's Soundcore Mini. So this is their new Bluetooth speaker. It's got eight hours of playback time, IP67 water and dust resistance, so you can chunk this sucker in the water and don't have to worry about it. Also, impervious to dust. It has the capability to pair via stereo to another Soundcore Mini speaker, and it has a pretty good overall sound. Not to mention the nice little carrying uh, wrist strap that you have here if you want to tote it around that way toss it on your backpack put it on your bike do whatever you want with it but overall uh, it's a really solid speaker it comes in at $35.99 and it generally I think is pretty well worth it there's not a whole lot to it now if you're looking for the ultimate sound experience uh, I definitely wouldn't say that it has that but I think it does have a leg up on the competition in the $30 price mark especially considering the fact that it has IP67 dust and water resistance, which is really good. So that gets you three feet for up to 30 minutes. So if you drop it in the pool, if you just wanna throw it in the pool, I mean, you can do that. So there's a lot of different options and the stow and go capabilities that it has, I think are pretty fantastic. So overall, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a demonstration here in just a second with the sound experience. So you can see, you know, kind of what it does, but it has dual drivers in here, so you've got a speaker here and you've got a speaker here. It's got a microphone built in on the side. If you want to have conversations, you want to answer the phone call uh, while you're using the speaker, you've got that option. And then you've got the charging port over here. Ta-da! Micro USB. And you even have a line-in input, so if you want to use your uh, auxiliary cable and plug it into something, then you have that option as well. So there you have it. Now the packaging is pretty straightforward. Uh, they seems like they've tried to kind of modernize their packaging up a little bit. Uh, you can see like the water here with the splash to illustrate that it has the water protection, which is a big selling point. You can see it's attached to a backpack right here. Four big selling features, waterproof, wireless stereo pairing with another Icon Mini, which is cool. I don't have another one to test it with, but you can use this one and pair it with another one and you get stereo sound which is pretty cool because you enhance your overall sound experience and the sound quality as well and then grab and go like I mentioned so many different applications for that and that's about it I'll go ahead and open the box so you can see here there's not much on the inside it comes with documentation and it has a tiny little micro USB charging cable that you can use and it's all folded up inside of here. And this is just so you can get a feel for it. So super tiny micro USB cable. And then you have the satisfaction card. So happy, unhappy, you can contact them and let them know. And then the warning stuff. And then you have the quick start guide. Now there's not a whole lot to the quick start guide really it just tells you what the basic functions are of the buttons so it lays out some of that stuff the power button volume up volume down you got the multifunction button you got the Bluetooth button so you can pair it so very easy now let's go ahead and get this sucker paired now get my Bluetooth audio turned up on my phone alright so we're in scanning mode let me go ahead and unpair it because I've been using it. Unpair that one as well. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. All right, let's see if it pops up. Go and scan. Soundcore Icon Mini. There we go. Ta-da! And that little jingle there lets you know that you're paired. So let's go move this other stuff out of the way so you don't have to look at it. And we'll just worry about the Soundcore Mini. Now, I've changed things up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube and use some copyright free music so that I don't get copyright claims on my video this time. So let me see what I was looking at. Copyright free music. And there's some op options out there. So if you happen to be a YouTuber yourself and content creator, this channel, if you can see it, audio library, music for content creators, they have a lot of different stuff out there that is copyright friendly. So listen to this one first. 
All right, so that's at max volume, but you can control volume on here as well. There's physical volume on the speaker, and then you can, so you max that out, and then you can still turn it up more on your phone. Now, it does isolate the different channels fairly well. Uh, the bass, it has a nice oomph sound to it. It doesn't have a whole lot of hard hitting bass stuff on it, but it does seem to carry very well. Uh, vocals are not bad. I really, I think overall, when it comes to this speaker, the best way I could describe it is, I think it tries to do a little bit too much with a little bit too little sometimes. And Soundcore uh, series products have been typically very good. And this one I think is good as well. I think the biggest selling point with this one is just the versatility of it. So you get really good quality sound. Not great, not amazing, not okay, not poor, but you get great, pretty good quality sound that allows you to take it pretty much wherever you want and you get eight hours of listening time. So if you want to go out biking, if you want to go out hiking, if you want to work out in the shop and do some do some mechanic work on your car, if you want a barbecue, if you want some music to float around in the pool with you while you hang out and get a tan, I mean, really you can use it for pretty much anything. So the, the limiting factor is not the music or it, the limiting factor is also not what you want to do. You can do whatever you want with it and I think it works just fine. So let me turn it up all the way. So I'll find another song real quick. Now, and when it's not too busy and doesn't have too much stuff going on, you can kind of hear the instruments pretty well. And overall, I'd say that's pretty good sound. And enough that it's definitely worth justifying purchasing if you're looking into getting one. Also, line of sight's important too. So, I mean, if it's not facing you, it doesn't sound as good, but you still get pretty decent all around sound. So let's turn this down and see if I can find one more, one more song. All right, I don't know what this is, but I'll play it. All right, so this is max volume, all the way maxed out. It doesn't distort, but it does kind of lose a little bit of the clarity when everything's going all at once. You can tell that it's maxed out. And it does kind of move around whenever there's a lot of bass. Anyway. Yeah, I think that's pretty much good enough for a sound demonstration. If you want to pause, you just hit the multifunction button. If you want to play, you press it again. Then you can press it twice and it'll go backwards, you press it three times, I think it goes forwards. Uh, it's not doing it with YouTube because it's not set up that way. But if you're listening to other music, like on a music player, I know it says on here, yes, so here we go. I just wanna make sure I tell you right. So if you press once or twice, once it's pause or play, two times it skips forward, three times it goes backwards. And then if you happen to have two of them, you hold down the pair button, for three seconds on each one and then it'll stereo connect. So this is the Anchor Soundcorn Mini. Again, you can pick one up for $35.99. Uh, you can pick it up straight on Amazon, get your prime two-day shipping. Overall, like I said, uh, hopefully the sound translated well enough so you could get a good feel for it. It does have good quality sound. Uh, whenever you're playing it at about the 65-70% mark, I really think that's probably the sweet spot for this because as you get a little higher than that, especially if the music is busy, then it will distort some and you will lose some clarity and it's just it's just a lot of noise not that you can't make it out so the less it's going on and the more well ranged you have the volume of course you know tuning it getting an equalizer that'll help isolate some of the different areas more and make it stand out but overall i definitely think it's worth it the versatility the waterproofness the battery life all of it it's a pretty good total package for 35 bucks. So that's all I've got for the Anchor Soundcore mini speaker. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.